Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be playing Portal. One sec, I have to make sure the sound's working. Yep, the sound is working, and anyway. And, <laughs> not much really to it, except that Portal is a pretty, uh, um, a lot of you already probably know about Portal, and hey, why not? I thought, hey, since everybody knows about Portal, let's just play it. Because Portal is a really awesome game, and I can't get it, I can't, get, I can't really get enough of it. And I've actually beat this game twice, and I, it's been a while since I played, so I might have forgot some of the puzzles. So let's why go into it. Plus, I also want to go more to the story and uh, Easter eggs. I want to go through all that, guys. So anyway, let's start this. And just yeah, start a new game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And here we are, we're... And the pod I was in. Okay, there's the buttons. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aid Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from... Turn back. The portal will open in 3, 2, 1. And there I am! It's kind of cool how you can see yourself in this game. But if you look at it, the leg, the little uh, leg things, you know? They help you, you know. Level 0. And we're just gonna keep going with it, you know. And... You need to pick up items. And... Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material prevents a patient grip will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Yeah, this entire game is based on test, and that's the entire thing. You're basically solving puzzles constantly. Here we are, level one. There's no dangers involved in this test, so... Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. Have to wait. The question is, where's the freaking gun in this situation? Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Well then. Honestly, the machine is quite weird, in my opinion. It has it makes no sense sometimes. And that's what one thing is this game is very charming in its own way. Even though that the game's ending is supposed to be, you know, a twist or somewhat, but you can expect that. But 
The game is charming because it always has some adorable comments and stuff. Oh, it's loading. Shit. Oh, fuck. And here we are. Next chamber. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Yeah. See, they always come up with the most random shit to talk about. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you. And the portal first made. The first portal ever made in this game. It's, it's, I just love it. The portal gun is very useful. I wish I had, they had it in real life. Part 2 is even better because it adds an additional uh, puzzle pieces, such as the, such as the white, such as the white, liquid white stuff, liquid white, the, the, uh, speed, eat orange, and the, and the, um, what was it? Oh yeah, and the bouncing blue. And it changes things immensely, and... Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. Tested for what? I, I get you guys, but you guys are wondering too. Testing for what? Whoa, loading again. One thing I don't like is the loading. Welcome to Test Chamber 4. You're doing quite well. Yeah, I gotta do it like this. Wanna do this? Once again, excellent work. As part of a required test protocol. I want to see what happens if I take this with me. In the next test chamber, you will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Yeah, can't take a radio with me. That was a glitch that happened. But that includes radios, so you can't take a radio with me. Can't pull a tiny box Tim like Mark Blair did. I do know this is, uh, Gap, uh, Gladys, that's the name of the machine that's talking. Number five, here we are. This one's just a double puzzle. And they haven't taught you how to use the other portal piece yet. What I love about this game is you can just alter things completely and it's fun as hell. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, A 
Again, GLaDOS is, is like really screwed up. Those of you, you who haven't played the game, I won't spoil it, so... Gladys, saying her name is Gladys is not really spoiling it, I think. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber. Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject hometown here. I actually want to play Half Life because I haven't played that yet. So. I do know those are like connections to these games. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate. Good. Now use the Aperture Science Unstationary Scaffold to reach the chamber lock. What do you think I landed on this? I figured I'd slide off or something. Oh god. I didn't I wouldn't like that. Oh shit. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. are easy at first, but they'll get progressively harder and harder and more complicated, as most games are. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Yeah. Look at that! Blue, blue rain! Ah, ah, ah. Look at that. Oh shit. Chocolate rain. Chocolate rain. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Gladys is so weird to me. Sorry if I keep drinking on camera, I'm just really thirsty. And I just got back from the gym. I'm exhausted too, so, and sorry for the lack of commentary, it's just so hard to commentate when it's already speaking for you. To reiterate, previous morning, Oh 
Oh, it's momentum. Using momentum to get your way. Oh, fuck. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. I love portals. This is so fun. Like, this is such a charming game. It's so unique compared to most puzzle games because it always requires portals. And the next game gets harder because it gets complicated with more additional items that you can use for um, basic physics. The only physics that I ended in here is the um, that luckily they came up with a system for physics with the uh, the impact boots. The enrichment center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. portals at once. I love the physics of this game.
Now I have a modified portal gun, which I can shoot two different things. Because your advice can't shoot anything black. Watch. Shooting black will do nothing. But. Playing yourself. Playing into space. And boom. Boom. Game. We... I have no idea what that sound was. I never could figure out what that was. I could tell that was a Wii or it's just a malfunction. Like, oh man, I've been on here a while. Uh, I need to move. What the hell? Um, hold up, I need to move my camera. I got moved by accident. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so I think I can do two more of these and I'll pause for now and we'll continue this. Now that you are in control of both portals, this next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic sal and adrenaline. Oh man, that'll be my phone. I'll go check that in a bit. Okay, I get it. My phone's going off and shit. I get it. Okay, I do need the cube. Do shit, so Okay, use that. Check it out in a minute. Oh boy. Oh shit. Facebook. Sorry guys, that's my, my wife right there. If you guys can see that, I'm not sure if you can. Okay, this one is a difficult one. So I got subjects intending to handle high energy gamma leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. No further compliance information is required or will be provided, and you are an excellent test subject. Hello darkness, my old friend. 
Can't get the lights. Lights you can't hit. So. Got it. Facebook, stop commenting shit. I'm in the middle of a recording. <laughs> I gotta remember my computer's made that way, so. So. Blue. Here we are. Very, very good. A complimentary victory lift has been activated in the main chamber. Oh, no shit. Okay, first death of the game, because I'm a dumbass. And, okay. Loading. Now, this is all I have to do today for this episode, so, <sighs> because, honestly guys, I did enjoy this game, because I can't think of a, a better game to do this with, and I just have is committed to the well-being of all participants. Kate and grief counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Thank you for helping us help you help us all. I do love this game because of how charming it is and you can do shit like this! Ah! Okay, they needed to stop that. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Please leave a like and a comment below and I think I'll... And also guys, if you're new, Please subscribe because I love a new edition. It would mean a lot to me if you did. And also, guys, please, uh, you can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. You can tell me about other games you want me to try out or you want me to see me play. Anything. Or uh, or you can, you can even check out my blog. 
Pug. I got that. I got a channel for that. It's Angry Ginger Vlogs. You can look it up on YouTube. It's not far off. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Creepers got a creep. Bye bye.